Anyway, inside Studio 1A, I'm Katie Couric along with Matt Lauer. And coming up in just a moment, Ant's exclusive interview with another sex symbol who's really trying to make a difference, Ange Angelina Jolie. And uh, she's going to be having a baby, of course, as everyone knows, with Brad Pitt. But another important topic on her mind these days is helping more kids get an education worldwide. We'll have that exclusive interv interview for you. Just <laughs> First, we have that exclusive interview with Angelina Jolie. Jolie and Brad Pitt have already adopted two children, four-year-old Maddox from Cambodia and one-year-old Zahara from Ethiopia. People magazine now calls them the world's most beautiful family. Well, now they're adding to that family, and Anne caught up with Angelina Jolie in Africa recently. Just got back the other day, actually. I did, in fact. In fact, Matt and Katie, in recent months, the movie star and humanitarian has tried to stay out of the public eye as she awaits the birth of her baby. But just a few days ago, we sat down in Africa for an interview about her new life. Jolie has a new cause, spokeswoman for Global Education Week, and she called on all the world's nations to help all the world's children go to school. In what seems to be the middle of nowhere, on the edge of Namibia in southern Africa, a very pregnant Angelina Jolie emerged from her private family vacation to speak on behalf of children in poor countries who don't get to go to school. What is the worst in your mind of that? God, I mean, there's just so many things. It's really, it's really that thought of those, of the potential of a human being. The lack of education causes death. You know, more children die under the age of five when the parents are not educated. More people get AIDS when they haven't had an education. Statistics prove that if every child was in school, every year, 700,000 less people would get AIDS. It seems also for you kind of a personal thing. You have two children you've adopted, both of whom might have been in this same circumstance of not oh, being able to get educated. And when you look at them, and you realize that. I look at them and I just think, you know, I look at especially my daughter, and how, you know, many million kids are out of school in her country, and especially girls. And I know how families with, with AIDS, when parents die of AIDS, how, you know, there's no possible way that children can make a school fee. There's no possible way she, she would have gone to school. And she is so smart and so strong. And, uh, and her potential as a, as, a, as a woman one day is great. So you multiply her by thousands, and that, that is the thing, you know, I can so clearly see when I look at her. Maddox, the amount of street children in his country, in all probability what would have happened to Maddox, he would have probably been uh, one of the kids doing the garbage picking in the streets, and he would have been uh, on his own. Yeah. It must mean so much to you as a human being to be able to give them an opportunity that they would never have gotten. You know, I'm happy for them that they're going to have all this education, and I hope with it they do some good things, and they're, <laughs> they're good, you know, good people. And, um, but yeah, when I visit Cambodia and I see all those other moms, it's, um, it's the worst thing in the world not to be able to give your kids everything you know they deserve. So when, like, when you announced it, how many kids showed up for school? Our registration there the first time we thought. Last year we had total, I think, 23 or 24. Why should the American people push this when there are so many issues at home, including educational problems? Yeah. Why should they call their congressman on this one? Because if we just fix home and the neighborhoods around us fall apart, you know, what kind of a, what kind of a place are we going to live in? It doesn't, it, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to just fix your own house when your neighbors are, you know, falling into chaos. There is another very famous person who talks a lot about education, and you sound a lot like her, Laura Bush, actually. <laughs> she talks a lot about this issue, specifically educating girls. Well, she should nudge her husband. <laughs> well, I think she does. Yeah. And I think that it also could be said that the U.S. does spend they do. a considerable amount of money. They do. Helping poor people get educated. So what's your message? They do. But no child left behind means no child left behind. And, and that isn't with what we feel we can give right now, but with whatever it takes. And Britain gives three times more than us right now. They're not richer than us. So 
I, I don't know what the, um, the great excuse is. Children are a priority for Angelina Jolie, especially now as she awaits the birth of her third child, her baby with Brad Pitt. How do you feel about the birthing part? Are you good? You ready? Yeah, I'm quite, you know, we're just hoping it doesn't happen when we're, we don't know where it's going to happen or where we're going to be, so we'll see. Yeah, well, but you have yeah. a doctor nearby, or, I mean, I, I don't want it to be too prying, but, you know, I'm a little... We, we've been smart about that, and we were trying, we're as prepared as, as uh, you know, things will be as, the, as they will be, you know, so, mm. but, oh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm ready for anything. Yeah, <laughs> do you know if it's a boy or girl? Yes. Would you like to keep that to yourself, or do <laughs> yes. you want to share that with the American public? No, I'd like to keep it to myself. Giggling, I understand, is something you're doing a lot more lately. I hear that from a very good source, your right-hand woman, Holly. She says, you are giggling a lot lately. I am. Is it pregnancy? Yeah, that's what I've gotten from pregnancy. It's my, I, I actually am, I've gotten, <laughs> see, <laughs> um, yeah, Brad said that to me too. I, I've gotten, I get hysterical now. Like, it'll go on for, for hours. <laughs> it's really horrible. And look at you, you're a mess. You're laughing, it's you're hormonal. <laughs> Keep it up and be pregnant more often because this is working. <laughs> She's happy. The ultimate goal of the global education drive is to give every child a chance to get at least a fifth grade education by the year 2015. In Africa, where Angelina Jolie has focused so much of her effort, 40 million children are out of school, including more than half of all girls who never get to finish elementary school. If you'd like to find out how you can help, we're going to have more later today on our website at today.msnbc.com. It's nice to hear that she's done her homework. You know, and, and there are some celebrities, no names mentioned here, who go out and they promote a cause and you have a feeling they're there for a photo op. But she clearly has, has done some research into this and knows well, what she's, she's talking so about. She spent so much time there, too, obviously. You know, I she's think the real being deal. there is, is the best education of all. Meanwhile, you know, I see pictures of them constantly and I wonder how she deals with that because it seems that she must have it must be such a surreal existence. Yeah, I think also because when you're pregnant as you know you're trying to protect your your family and yourself you get your sort of defensive anyway and to be in a situation in which you're surrounded really surrounded by by paparazzi photographers I mean they've had to put shields up and I bet that Namibia sort of has has stricter laws when it comes to that and are they enforcing them is that helped mm, they, there is uh, Namibia is enforcing them and and I think Angelina and her family are very grateful for that uh, there is a law in Namibia that you can't photograph somebody without his or her permission and so, whether anyone follows that right, law, exactly. of course, remains to exactly. be seen. Exactly. These long exactly. lenses, it's hard to track them down. And she's how, how far along pregnancy was? Well, you know, she's not, she, it wasn't really telling me. And I think the reason is because of all this attention from the paparazzi. But she's not quite eight months, she's, She seems pretty relaxed about the whole thing, doesn't she? She does. But, you know, she's For her a first baby. powerful girl. I mean, look at her life so far. I have a lot of faith that she'll be all right. Yeah, I know. I'm sure she'll be it's great, but I feel like I'm a nervous wreck. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, you can see the rest of Ann's exclusive interview with Angelina Jolie on Dateline. That's Sunday night at 7, 6 central time. Of course, right here on NBC. Now let's get another check.